In preparation for the 2020-2021 school year, all Uniontown area school district students received an iPad, textbooks, and a detailed daily schedule. Instructions were provided that were to be followed to set up the iPad and gain access to Canvas and Microsoft 365. If you have not yet set up your iPad, those instructions can be found at www.uasdraiders.org under the Parents and Students tab. Select iPad Canvas Resources for Students and Families. Then select the first option, How to Set Up Your District-Owned Managed iPad for the First Time with Canvas Login Information. Once those steps are complete, it's time to learn how to navigate the system. The detailed daily schedule that was provided gives a breakdown of course subjects and their corresponding class times. Students are to follow the schedule as they progress through their synchronous instructional day in Canvas. As you can see in the sample schedule on your screen, this student would first attend a special service course from 9 o'clock until 945. Then she would go to math class from 945 to 11 then science, then ELA, and so forth. So let's take a look at how a student will progress through the instructional day in Canvas. You will go to the Google Chrome app on the iPad to log into Canvas. Once logged in, the first place that you will need to go is the dashboard. On the dashboard, you will see various cards that correspond with a specific subject. If you do not see the cards, click on the three dots next to dashboard and select card view. For this demonstration, you'll see I only have a few cards listed on my dashboard. Students will have cards for each subject for each time slot of the day. So let's say that my daily detailed schedule has me attending the secondary demo course from 9 o'clock until 9.45. I click on the course card and it takes me to the home page of that course. Once you are on the home page, you will see the red live icon with a link to join the live session. Click the link and the Microsoft Teams app will open. This is where students attend the live instructional session for that specific course and time. The student will click join now and then will wait in the lobby until the teacher admits him or her. Cameras are off and microphones will be muted, but students will have the capability to raise their hands, type in the chat box and speak to the teacher through the microphone when needed. Let's see what it will look like when I join the meeting. If I click join now, I will wait for the teacher to let me in. Now I am in the meeting. You will see the floating taskbar at the bottom has the camera, the microphone, and three dots that you will click if you would like to raise your hand. In the top right hand corner, there's a thought bubble. You will click that if you want to chat. If I need to speak, I can click on the three dots on the floating taskbar, then select raise my hand. This alerts the teacher that I have a question and my microphone will be turned on so that I can speak. If I would rather type into the chat box, I will click on the thought bubble in the top right hand corner and this screen will open. I type directly in the box and then click the purple arrow to submit. The teacher will be alerted that I posted a message and can reply to me. While I am in the live session, I can toggle back and forth between Canvas and Teams. 
If my teacher tells me to go to Canvas, I can minimize the Teams app by clicking on the circular home button on my iPad, but still hear what the teacher is saying. Another option is to split the screen between Teams and Canvas so that I can see both screens simultaneously. In order to split the screen, while I am in the Teams application, I lightly pull up from the bottom middle of the iPad screen to open the dock. Then I press and hold the app that I want to open, which in this case will be Google Chrome. Once I press onto the Chrome icon, I will drag it to the right. Let go, and now my screen is split. If I want to go back to one app in full screen, I gently swipe from the center of the screen to the right until the second app is out of view. When my live session is over, I must be sure to hit the red phone icon so that I hang up and leave the meeting. Then I look at my daily schedule to see what class I have next. If my next class is social studies, I will click on that card find the live icon, click the link and join my next class. Now let's take a look at a few features within Canvas. On the left hand side of each course, you'll find specific tabs that include modules, grades, discussions, and assignments. Your teacher will help you navigate through these tabs as you progress through each course. Modules is where you will find the content and activities for the week. When I click on modules, it takes me to this screen where I can see the list of activities. I can click through the module, read the content presented, and complete everything that is assigned. Here is an example of a discussion board. A discussion board allows teachers to pose questions to students, gather their responses, and enable them to interact with one another. To submit a reply, click Reply. Type into the chat box. And when you're ready, click Post Reply. Here is an example of an assignment. Let's learn how to submit an assignment. As you can see, there are specific instructions for what the teacher expects the student to turn in. When ready, click Submit Assignment. A box opens with different options for assignment submission. The first option is to upload a file. This could be a picture, or an actual electronic document. Let's practice with a picture. On your iPad, click Choose File, then Photo Library. Then select the photo that you would like to upload, and push Done. Your photo is now attached. You can click Submit Assignment, and it will be sent to the teacher to view. Another option is a text entry. Click on the text entry tab. You can type in the box and click submit. The grades tab will show you what is complete and what is missing, as well as provide you with an overall average.
Another important place in Canvas is the inbox. The inbox is where students can send and receive messages from their teachers. Messages can be posted to an entire group or individually. The calendar is where you will go to find links to archived live sessions as well as due dates for assignments. When I click on the calendar, you'll see that there are different color-coded boxes that correspond with each of my classes. As you select boxes, your calendar will populate. You can also deselect boxes so that you only look at a specific class. It might be helpful to deselect boxes so that you are only looking at one calendar for one course at a time so that you do not become confused. As I mentioned before, you can also find archived live video sessions in the calendar. For example, if something prohibits a student from attending the live session at its regularly scheduled time, he or she can go back and watch that class at a later time. In the calendar, you will locate the date of the class that you missed, and you will see that a link has been provided for that day's video. Click the link within the box in the calendar, and then click the link next to where it says Details. This will take you to the archived video. To download the video to your iPad to watch without Wi-Fi, click the three dots and then select download video. The video will now be saved to your iPad. If you do not have full-time internet access and need to visit a hotspot to download content, here are the steps that you must follow. In Canvas, click on Account. Then click Settings. Once you are there, scroll to the bottom of the page. At the very bottom, you will see there is an option that says Download Course Content. Click the button and the content will now be downloaded to your iPad and you can view it offline. We are excited to welcome your children back to school. As we embark upon this new way of teaching and learning together, Please do not hesitate to reach out to your child's school if you have questions or are in need of assistance.